Good evening. Um, so today I'm actually going to go through all five hives for the first time um, since I've actually made some of my splits. So I'm going to go through all my hives. I should have queens in all five hives now, either whether mated or virgin. All right, so first we're going to go through the double brood, but we're not going to go through both frame, both boxes. So I went through both boxes last week. So we're going to have a quick look through the honey stores. And a quick look at the top brood box just to see how we're getting on. Okay, so this one's going to be nearly capped soon. It's only about four frames, um, four frames from the back. And again, that one's very full. They're going to start capping this off soon as well. Oh, this is full of larvae. So we're wow, young larvae, pollen, and then honey on the outside, and then larvae on the other side. Right, that's enough disturbing these girls for today. Um, they're nice and calm. You know, they've got loads, the queen's got loads of laying room. I'm not worried about any swarming. There's cups there, but there's no actual eggs in them or they're not charged. They're in a double brood box, so there's always going to be room to lay. And from what I've seen so far this year with this double brood box, with this colony, the frames on the bottom mimic the frames on the top. So these back two frames, the three frames are just solid honey. That's going to be exactly the same on the bottom. So I'm going to close these girls back up and move on to the next hive. Right, so here we are on the little hive, which is uh, next to the big double brood box. Okay, so these girls look quite full and busy. Wow. They've had a good boost of population. So I will be checking these high four queen cells. That queen cup is charged. There is a very, very tiny larvae in the bottom of that queen cup. Got one more queen cup here. Looks like there's a bee feeding it. Yep, that's a charged queen cell. So we've got two charged queen cells. We're halfway through the hive and two charged screen cells. Anything more than four, rule of thumb, um, is anything more than four is a swarm, anything less than four is a soup procedure. So I'm halfway through the hive and I've only seen two, so they might be just looking to replace her. That's only three charged ones, so that looks to me like a soup procedure. But now I've, I've only have squashed one. So that leaves two, two queen cups, two queen cells, sorry. So I'm still looking at super procedure here. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So I might come back one evening early next week and check to make sure there's no more than them two. If there is, then I'll do a split. If there isn't, then it's a super procedure and I'll let them get on with it. Okay, so this is the original queen that I got this year. Um, and this is the colony I did the split from. So you can see there's a lot of bees are a little bit aggressive in here. That solid brood pattern. Wow, okay. We've got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight capped queen cells, nine capped queen cells, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 18 capped queen cells on one frame. Now that is not a good sign. And considering I did an artificial swarm, they've had plenty of room. I want to find this queen. I want to find out whether that's an emergency because they have no queen. Or whether because they want to swarm. And these weren't here last weekend. So these have been made in a week. I think they might be queenless, you know. There's, they are a bit aggressive. And I was told these are quite exposed to be quite a calm colony. When I got them, so... Now, you can see all these big queen cells quite clearly on this. I think I'm going to knock all these queen cells back. Now I have a feeling that they might have a queen still. But I'm going to knock these queen cells back because they're all charged or sealed. And I'm going to see if they make some more. 
And if they make some more, I know they've definitely got a queen because I can't see any eggs in here. However, they're also honey bound. Okay, so these girls have actually, when I've looked at this, this properly, there's a lot of empty dry cells with nothing in them and no eggs. But there's room for a queen to lay, but they're not laid. So I think when I've done the swarm, either the queen is in the other box somehow, even though I definitely put her in here in the queen clip, or she's died or they've killed her and they're trying to replace her. Or she's gone off on a little swarm by herself. So what I'm going to do, there's that many queen cells. I'm going to take a lot of them out and leave. I think I leave one charged. I've read somewhere that sometimes the best is to make sure there's a charged one and leave one charged. Some of these are tiny little things, so that's what makes me think these are emergency cells. Right, that's all the queen cells on this side gone. So even if I leave them with one and they have got a queen, which I don't think they do because there's no eggs, then um, they've got something. Right, so I've left them with one nice big fat queen cells. Um, and let's hope that that, do, that she does the job because obviously they've replaced, they've killed off the queen or she's gone or she's just died, whatever. And she needed replacing. Yeah, as you can see, they're pretty aggressive. So I'm assuming it's just queenlessness. That's just an assumption. So hopefully in a few weeks, in about a week's time, that queen will hatch. And we'll have a new queen in the hive. Right, we might already have a queen in the hive. And it's just got the queen cells left over. Like a virgin queen in here. I don't know. We will find out in a week or so's time. Okay, now this is my walk away split from about four weeks ago. See, it's about four weeks since I've been in here. They've had no queen. It's been a walk away split, so I've got an open queen cell here. There's no signs of a queen, but that doesn't mean she's not out on a mating flight or virgin queen running around. There's a sealed queen cell in here. And whether that was an empty queen cell or what, there's a sealed queen cell. There's empty frames, empty cells for a queen to lay in. This uh, frame is full of nectar. It's not looking promising, I must admit. So what I think I'll do is I'll leave these girls to it for another week um, and if nothing happens in a week then I'll look at putting a frame of eggs in if I still can't find the queen and there's no signs of a queen but until then I'll just close these girls back up okay so this is the other half of that swarm from about two or three weeks uh, three weeks ago now so I'm not expecting anything in the supers on top, although they were filling them before, they're quite light. So hopefully when I look through this we might be looking for a queen, or an open cell, or even some eggs. Mm -hmm. oh, there's a little bit of brood still hatching on this frame. Empty queen cup, completely empty cells here. So that queen cup hasn't been... Um, charged it all went them in. No eggs again but they're empty cells sort of ready for a queen to lay. So it tells me they've either got a queen who's working her way through the colony or she's mated or she's at least hatched and they're preparing for her coming back from a mating flight. I think, now I could be wrong, I'm going to get closer to the hive, I think I can hear piping. So it's what the, like a queen does when she's either freshly when she's hatching to let them know she's around or so they can help her or when she comes back from mating flight I believe so we might have a queen in here I'm sure well I think I can hear her piping some very some queen cells on top of this frame so I want to be very delicate but they're very calm they're not as aggressive as the other colony the first one I seen so that makes me think they've at least got a queen or 
uh, in here, whereas the other queen hasn't. Uh, the other, sorry, the other colony hasn't. We've got an empty queen cup. Empty queen cell. As if a queen has hatched. Because I give them a load of charged queen cells. Spurcomb. When I give them these charged queen cells, I was expecting hopefully to see a queen this week. Um, however, she could be on a mating flight, for I have heard piping as well, so she might have just return. So I'm going to leave these girls again. I'm going to leave these girls for about another week. Hope I don't get any cast swarms. Have taken down a couple of those queen cells, but I've left the majority of them. Okay, so that was um, very disappointing actually. So I've now got, well, assumed uh, definite, I think, one queenless hive, two hives I'm not sure on. Um, and then I've got two hives, which are really good. Um, what on earth is going on with this year? Uh, I haven't got a clue. So I've got two good strong, wait, all colonies are quite strong. But we've got, so we've got, we've got possible three queenless. Um, I haven't got a clue what's going on. Um, I'm going to give them another week. I'm going to see how they are next week, or maybe it's early next week, so not, not a full week. And if I have to, I'm going to take some um, fresh eggs out of one of my two good strong colonies. So preferably the one with the double brood on. Um, I've also got two swarm traps out at the moment, in case we do have a couple of swarms from these bees, when if they do have multiple queens hatch. I have knocked a few of the queen cells down just to limit that, just in case. Um, yeah, so a bit bizarre. If anyone has any ideas, please comment below. Um, and as always, please like and subscribe to this channel. Help support this channel, help me grow as a beekeeper. And uh, thank you very much for watching.